welcome to my channel metallurgy with ajr casting defects casting defects is of prime importance in the automobile industry because any defect unnoticed will cause a major failure in the industry an analysis of casting defects is essential in every foundry to reduce the number of rejected castings in order to understand the various casting defects first of all we must know the casting process this is a schematic diagram of a casting process so here you can see the sand mold the sand mold consists of a fork and drag arrangement this is the cast which we are going to produce in the form of a cylinder the core is kept here fixed here and the core is fixed to the fork and the drag by a chaplet so chaplet is used for keeping the core in a stable position so here you can see the metal is poured through the pouring basin the metal collects to a blind riser here and it comes through a runner here a well is there this well is to reduce the turbulence then afterwards the metal slowly enters into the casting through the gate so metal fills here this is the riser so any unwanted material or whether if the casting is completely filled then you can see the metal is rising at the top of the riser blow holes and open blow open blows appear as smooth wall round voids open to the casting surface and blow holes are entered bubbles of gas with smooth walls the reason for this appearance of these blow holes or open blow this defect is due to the excessive moisture in sand moisture in chaplets or chills insufficient baking of cores or venting of the cores solidification shrinkage when metal solidify there is a volumetric shrinkage this is compensated by adequate feeding if the feeding or riser is inadequate or is designed improper a shrinkage defect or void occurs particularly in heavy sections so this is where the problem exists now you can see in this uh, photograph this is the shrinkage cavity is there here you can see the shrinkage cavity these voids have rough surfaces due to protruding crystals or dendrites you can see some protruding crystals are there some dendritic formation also you can see here hot tears at the start of the solidification some metals are low strength and if the solid shrinkage induces sufficiently high stresses at this time the metal forms hot tears hot tears are jagged cracks they occur especially at sharp corners where stresses can be created if solidification has been completed the pulling will result in smoother more regular hot cracks so in this figure you can see the hot crack what is this hot cracking you can see the jagged surface the fracture is jagged jig jagged cold shut and misrun when the section thickness of a casting is too thin or the metal temperature is too cold so that the entire section is not filled during pouring before the metal solidifies 
the resulting defect is known as a misrun. So you can see the misrun in this figure. A smooth contour, you can see. When two streams of metal running from two different gates or two cold and do not fuse together, the defect is called cold shut. Both the defects are usually caused by low pouring temperature and hence lower fluidity. Pinhole porosity. The most harmful gases in metals are hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen. Absorbed oxygen can form oxides or dross. Nitrogen can form nitrides in certain metals. Hydrogen invariably collects in small holes called pink holes, particularly in aluminium alloys. So this is due to improper degassing. So these is the pin holes you can see. When a spin is inserted into the hole, the pin enters into the hole. So the size of the pin hole will be in the form of a pin only. Scat, rat tail and buckle. These defects are caused by expansion of sand on the mold surface. Due to the heat of the filling metal, the upper layer of sand in the mold cavity may crack and open up. A rat tail appears as an irregular line due to crack in the thin layer of molding sand. Casting surfaces on both sides of the rat tail will be at different levels. Buckles are more severe compression failures or cracks of the sand surface or shallow depression. A scab is a rough thin layer of metal extending over the casting surface. Scabbing tendency of sand can be remedied by using cushioning agents such as wood floor or cereal which burns out leaving voids into which the sand can expand. Poor design with too large a flat surface in mold cavity or it is due to poor mold sand characteristics. Swell. Swell is an enlargement or expansion of the mold cavity due to the pressure of the liquid metal. A rigid mold with high mold hardness is suggested. And also insufficient ramming of the mold or the mold not supported properly. These are the two reasons for the this type of swell. Shift. Shift is a defect. There are two types. One is called uh, core shift and another is the mold shift. Core shift occurs when a core is not properly located or strongly supported. The core may lift or move when the metal is poured. This can lead to a reduction in wall thickness of the casting on one side. So here you can see in this photograph the reduction in wall thickness at one side. This is the core shift. The next is the mold shift. Mold shift results in mismatch of the portions of the castings at the potting line. The flask or mold box should be properly closed or secured. See here it is not secured properly. So that's why you can see there is a difference in the pope and the track. Some here mismatch is there. Friends, if you like my videos, please click the like button and subscribe. Thank you.